These lights are going to make it great, too. Two and going down. Um, so. Let's check and see if we're live. Everywhere. Yeah, let's make sure this is actually working. Yep, we're good. Oh, shoot. So, welcome, guys. Uh, we have a special guest with us today. Patrick's here to help us do a new thing we're going to do on our yeah. weekly podcast. But first, I thought we had started earlier, and I do want to <laughs> revisit the pin. Oh, pen. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was saying, uh, they asked me if I wanted to wear my headphones during it, and I was just like, oh, yeah, it's my look. I go, we can make a, a pin out of me or something. And John's like looking at me weird like he always does when I say a word that he's like, wait, no, we're going to further explore this. And I was just like, you know, you know, like a pin. Like, like, and I did show to pan mind him with my shirt, and he goes, oh, a pin. And he, I, apparently he pronounces P-E-N different from P-I-N. But not much. Not much. It's, I was shocked by how, like I'd never considered the fact that those – Two words, though, spelled differently, sound almost identical. Yeah. And pen it's and funny, pen. and I'm not saying I'm 100% correct or anything like that, but my entire life, it's just been P E N, pen. Hey, pen, put the pigs in the pen. Grab me a pen. Yeah. Like there's, Fair anyways, enough. but pin the pigs <laughs> in a pen. <laughs> but um, what do we have in front of us right so now? So we are going to do a couple of things today. One, we've got Patrick up here. We are going to start doing a weekly seasoning review. What we have today are, is Nashville hot chicken. I took a bunch of Excalibur's Nash Nashville Hot Seasoning, which is right here. I dumped about three quarters of this into enough chicken on the run to do some uh, one package of the chicken tenders. Yeah, tenders, nice. I then gave them an egg wash, then hit them with that, and... Should we just go ahead and do Yeah, just in? go ahead and do that, because this is... Because my nose is probably going to start running and stuff, so... And I can't taste very well, by the way. Mm. Patrick has a lasting effect from COVID. Mm. Me and Kirk Herbstreet. Sure. Dude, it was so... I read an article yesterday that says, Kirk Herbstreet still, still feeling effects from COVID-19. You click on the click on the article, and you just can't taste or smell. And I go, let's make... Where's my article? Is that guy still valid? Like, do, is he Dude. on anything? I don't... Oh. Does he even still do college football stuff? Oh, yeah. But does he? I think. Well, um, he's one of those guys. He, he could have died 10 years ago. I'm like, yeah, Kirk Kirby's still there. Because he's in the video game still. So he's, you know, he's got 10 year and now forever legacy. So. All right. So what do you think of that? Can you now taste it? I think I'm in the middle of nowhere with this taste. Okay. They are excellent. What I can't tell is is it the chicken on the run that I'm really liking or is it the hot Nashville hot? I'm thinking it's at least partially the Nashville hot because that I've got some spice on my tongue for sure. Yeah, I came back in here. I couldn't tell if it was the fajita or get or not getting to my nose. It was the fajita, I think. Yeah, it's weird. I used to like when we first got these. I sniffed. I was like, "Oh, see what that smells like." And I remember going, "Oh, a big regret." Right. You get a lot of that. What, I mean, is there cayenne in there? What What exactly makes it spicy? I guess paprika, anato, whatever that is. Salt, raw cane sugar, garlic, and onion, dehydrated apple cider vinegar powder, uh, apple cider vinegar, and modified food starch. So it's paprika is the mm. color. Yeah. And whatever a motto is must be the heat, or they've disguised what the heat is in the all-inclusive spices. Yeah, because you can smell the heat coming off that. Yeah, I could feel it on the tongue a little bit. It's too bad. I really like, like I was telling John earlier, if there's ever a seasoning that we should do, it is Nashville hot because I've been to Nashville. I'm a huge Tennessee Titans fan. Went there for the draft and everything, but it was too populated with people. I couldn't get Nashville hot chicken in Nashville anywhere. So instant regret in life. But and but I can't really even taste this right now. So it's like I'll probably have to revisit it. That makes me really sad that you can't taste test that because that I, is delicious. Yeah, um, I've lost like 15 pounds, I think. Well, that's if not an more. Thing. If not yeah, more. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a good way. I was just telling Adam, I was like, yeah, I just kept running the or rolling through the train. Like, I can't taste anything, so let's just keep going for it. So My ex-girlfriend was right. Yeah, you lose weight. I've put somewhere. on <laughs> at least 15 pounds. I think people are just, they're just hyper-focused on it once they find out someone. Like, I think you know your own body, and when you start to gain on a little bit of weight, you're like, you know, your favorite shirt fits a little tighter, and then someone in the office happens to go, oh, I think I've lost about 10 pounds. You look at them menacingly and go, like, stop it now, because Put that it's... <laughs> right back on. Yeah, exactly, because it's going somewhere, but th there is some weird truth to that, but as far as, like, coincidence or Chinese folklore, I'm not sure. So. <laughs> Chinese folklore. One thing 
this is incredibly tender chicken. Mm. And I love it. I just take our cast iron skillet. I put it out in the sear box of the camp chef and put peanut oil in that and just deep yeah. fry them in there. Because if I do it in here, everyone's going to complain throughout the office mm -hmm. about the smell. Yeah, even if it's a good smell, you'll find someone that's just... Oh, yeah. They'll be like, oh, well, we don't, like fried food. well we don't get to try... Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. Which, I mean, I get it. Totally get it. But if it's not fish or something that you know is like a faux pas... Right, that's why... So coming out, not this Monday, but the next one, we'll have a podcast where Patrick and I sat outside and ate crabs, Maryland blue crabs. John ate crabs. I nibbled at you them. You had like one or two. Yeah. Um, and just... Kind of talked back. Kind of and hung forth. out. Yeah, I don't was, really even know if there was a. It's <laughs> every twenty minutes. I feel like we just hit reset and kept talking about the same thing every twenty. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's a great promo for that. They're gonna love hearing that. Uh, well, no, it's one of those like. Well, the last twenty minutes uh, we might not use because one of the cameras decided to get instant shut off on us, which isn't a problem. Then turns back on and decides to be blurry. So yeah. that was a problem. But we had so, the same problem on the previous one, the one that's coming out Monday. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. That it one just stopped recording. That. Well, that one stopped recording, and then when I turned the camera back on, it, it the file was just gone. So it's one of those like, okay, well, you guys get a graphic for forty minutes, yep. and then but if you if you stay tuned, the last fifteen minutes they actually are on video. So we come back. All might, right, might so be a perfect time for a coupon on there to see if people are actually just watching. Just pop it up yeah. there. That's not a bad idea. So one, I'm sweating like kind of profusely now. So yeah, this Nashville really hot seasoning definitely has some heat to it, without a question. Mix it with the chicken on the run and. Chicken tenders, deep fry them in peanut oil, you you're, can't go wrong. That is absolutely delicious. Um, John, at some point, come up here and grab some of that. Uh, John is in Patrick's old seat. Patrick is now going to join us for at least one of these segments every yeah. live stream. Um, I hope I can start to taste so I can really rant on if it's good or not and pick up different flavors. Or... Ooh. If you can't taste by next week, 100%, we're going to do the... Uh, oh, the thing. We'll yeah, do yeah. The, the orange thing. All of that. And I was telling him with my taste, it's like there's certain, like uh, like my protein bar I have in the morning. I can taste that just fine. Okay. It's lemony, but maybe it's a morning thing. Hmm. I, maybe my allergies kicked up. It could be a, just a perfect storm tired. of... Dude, honestly, like 5, 6 p.m. when I make dinner, I can't really taste it. Really? But for lunch, if I have like citrus... And stuff like that. More fruity stuff seems to hmm. to come out. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just trying to monitor it best I can and tell you. So, well, definitely don't put those um, symptoms into WebMD because that sounds a lot like cancer, <laughs> if you ask me. Cancer, yeah. I got leukoplakia. I don't know what that one is, cancer, but it sounds bad. Cancer of the mouth. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. Did you watch that one '80s movie, Lucas? With uh, yeah, I remember. Corey it, Haim, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremy Pittman Football was making fun of me. He goes, "Look, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. leukoplakia." This is that. What it was actually called, what he had. Yeah, I think I googled it. I think that was a thirteen-year-old Google search for me. Hmm. Anyways, thank God we didn't have Google when I was a kid. Oh, thank man. God we didn't have social media when I was a kid. Do you yeah. see they're trying to cancel um, Aaron from The Office? You don't know The Office. The redheaded girl. Yeah. Why? She won some debutante ball that was apparently like a long time Wait, ago. Had in ties. the show. No, no, no. In, like, <laughs> that in sounds like something in her that real would happen. Life. Well, I guess she was underground or whatever for some And time. I guess it was like that organization had like racist ties at some point. They didn't let people, they didn't let people of color or women into their organization until like hmm. shockingly recently, like 1979 or something. Well, it sounds like she didn't have anything but right, to do with yeah. it. She sounds no, like a pawn in the game. And ridiculous. All. And hopefully that all goes away. All right. Well, I'm going on to my experiment. Cool. You're, you're welcome to stay up here and comment. Yeah, right? let's see okay. what we got. All right, so what we're doing today is we're going to show the difference that the temperature of your meat is going to make on your protein extraction. We talk about temperature of meat all the time here. The colder your meat is, the better. Absolutely, it's going to help you grind much faster. It's going to grind better. You're going to get better particle retention. Your stuffing will be better. Your mixing will be better. I like to, if I have the time... I like to come in, I like to cut up my pork butts, and then I like to throw them in the freezer. And I cut them up into fairly small pieces, throw them in the freezer for like 30, 45 minutes mm -hmm. until they get like some nice hardness to them. That just makes your grind go so nice and quick, much, much less to worry about. And then it makes the rest of the processing easier as well. Obviously, the huge thing is that it keeps it more, uh, you're safer from microbes, from bacterias, but... This right now, I have two exact size batches. They are both six and a half pounds. 
I've got this one, which is reading at 31 degrees right now. And I've got this, which is reading. That doesn't make any sense. So some of that is frozen. I got to get on YouTube, make sure we're looking good, sounding good. Oh, I'm sure. We're Looks awesome. Good. There we go. All right. So I've got this one, which is 37 degrees. And this one, which was 32, dropping, still dropping, 31. All right, so I said 37 and 31. That might not sound like a huge difference, but it actually is. I'm expecting the proteins to extract much quicker and much better on this. Now, this will also be interesting because we won't add any uh, cure accelerator to these. We normally stuff or mix stuff and smoke all in one day. So we'll hold these overnight mm -hmm. and smoke them tomorrow. And oh, we great. can kind of tell if we see any difference in it. Ooh, no, you know what I'm going to do? What's that? I'm going to hold these overnight and then try stuffing them tomorrow. Ooh. Because that's one thing that we always tell people not to do. Oh, yeah. But I know some people do it. Okay, is it is it worth doing one today, one tomorrow to see the difference, or is it you it just want to go? Probably is, but I don't have time. Yeah, for uh, it. Uh, well, it's then we'll ridiculous. do it tomorrow. Okay, so here is the correct amount of the fajita seasoning. God, get ready for some potential pounds. sneezing. Yeah, up here, that's guys. gonna this get up in the nuts. air. All right, and then I need oh, you to already. I need you to somewhat time this. Got you. Cool. <clears throat> okay, ready. Wait. Sorry. You know, stopwatch isn't Sorry. an app I usually just have ready to rock and roll. And ready, set, go. All right, so I use a, a squeeze. I, I don't even know what to call it. I try to push the meat into the middle of my hand while closing my fist so it squeezes through my fist but also out in between the fingers. It's like the full extension of the meat world, right? Don't want to rob yourself of going all the way down, getting that full pump. Sure. Well, no wasted motion, right? I, I mean, that's not how I work out, but... That's not how you work? No, well. it's just a lot of rage and anger. <laughs> it's not, there's not a lot of attention paid to form. Yeah. Well, how is your paintings coming along now that we're talking about it? <laughs> that's how you work out, right? You just throw splatter stuff? Oh, Andy, Andy War No, not Andy Warhol. Jackson Pollock? Ja Jackson, Jackson Pollock, Pollock stuff. Andy War Warhol was the Campbell's suit guy. The guy that just, I mean, looks okay. It's nothing special. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm just going to make four of them. Same thing with Jackson Pollock, though. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah they they, 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 they just have paint at a canvas and you were weird. They got okay names. So this is already getting good protein extraction. <laughs> Do like you feel close. like you oh, instantly yeah. feel what is, yep. what's it feel like? Uh, the resistance changes in the meat as you're squeezing down. Like so, I go like this. As mm -hmm. you squeeze down, the meat doesn't shoot out as easily through your fingertips. It's okay. starting to like bind together and want to stick together. Okay, you're at about a minute twenty-five right now. Okay, and this is the colder one or the warmer? This one? This is the colder one. Colder one, nice. That was just sitting on the top, though. You'd have to stick it down in there. Get that thermometer down in there good. And no binder here. That's important to remember. I cut off the tip of my finger here the other day. <laughs> the like, tip of your finger? Not. You just heard me go, ooh, that it, one got like, me I didn't good. actually cut myself with a knife. I don't want to tell everybody what no, it was, no, but it wasn't yeah. a knife. And... As I started doing this, I jammed this oh, finger right into it. the... Ooh. I don't know if you noticed there, but I didn't, I didn't talk for a couple of seconds as I tried not to scream. I mean, if it's, it's got to be a thousand times worse than reopening a paper cut, so I oh, can God, imagine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to call that almost good. 220. Almost good. Keep yeah. going. Well, there's been a few seconds where we haven't been giving it full effort, so... Well, my... Breath is short, it's so I'd, I'd say I've been giving it full. You sound like I, like after I've gone upstairs. Dude, going upstairs is hard. Single flight. So, you know what's funny about that? Like, there's some days you go one, two, Pop three, right and off. you're just like, oh, yep. what are stairs? And then some days, like, and you're not even sore. You just go, what is going on with my breathing today? Yes. Yeah, there are some days standing up. I'm like, whew. 
I mean, there's some it's days I run right. up the, I go up those stairs, and I'm just like, what's my 40 time today? You know, like, <laughs> all right, guys, watch out. All right, go. What time uh, is it? Three. So three minutes, hand mixing at like 31 degrees. We have good protein extraction. We'd easily be able to stuff that, you know. be comfortable with it sitting in a casing, not going anywhere. Cut. This is now saying 37.8 degrees. God, I really want to run my hands under warm water right now. Go for it. No, well, it's going to heat up my hands <laughs> or the water more. But tell me when you're ready. And. Whoa, hold on a second. I got to put all yeah, this Yeah, Oh, man. I'm. Yeah, yeah. It's over. You might want to watch out. It's almost like secondhand smoke, you know? It's, like, it's not. It it's not at all yeah. like that. Well, w w with minus all the carcinogens and, and early death, but it's as. Un <coughs> See, it's as uncomfortable. Yeah, it's terrible. And go for it. As soon as it gets in the meat, it'll go away. I feel, <coughs> I feel like I just started working here again. Yeah, this is. <coughs> <laughs> we did so much stuff. This is not as bad. Uh, like, I can feel the six degrees difference on my hands. <laughs> six degrees of separation. <laughs> oh, man, that's a new... Makes a got huge a new difference. Segment. My hands are much more comfortable in this meat. So, you know, a lot of people, they'll just do... They'll watch videos of people cutting soap or something like that, like mesmerizing. Yeah, like, right, but that's because it's something that's, like, super satisfying to watch. We got all this raw meat. Is There's that gotta satisfying be... to watch? I mean, we'll put a we'll put a camera up. We'll put a Twitch camera up on a grinder, and we'll just grind Ooh. meat, and we'll just have it go, and we'll just put our logo on it. That's all the channel is. Yeah, grinding meat's actually super satisfying. I mean, but yeah, maybe just especially do especially when you get nice. Oh, do it at 120 frames. And you get nice long strands. We'll just it looks put like spaghetti. Let's just put that's our that's our Facebook advertisement. That, no, that's that's the new business. We'll just do 30 second loops of satisfying <laughs> videos with equipment that we sell. Are you guys about it? Let me know in the comments section. <laughs> oh, yeah. Normally, I, we do a better job. Or I'm watching comments. I have no idea who's here. We usually what need. What are talking about? I love how, like, we'll have, like, we'll throw out an idea, then, like, one or two positive comments of affirmation. We go, look, everybody wants it. That's exactly how it's going to be. This is how we're going to do it yeah. from now on. <laughs> Let's see. In the comments, I see John Belvedere. Yep. Chef Raul. Jeff. Pa Papa Sop. We were talking about your. Texas uh, here. Your pecan pies earlier. Yes. Yeah. Letting the guys in the back enjoy yep. a few of it. And I'm going to steal another mini one. Enjoy that this evening. But I think I've, I've told the story on a podcast, maybe not a live stream. Um, the first one I had here, I had first thing in the morning. Yeah. Hadn't eaten anything else. And I swear there was enough bourbon in there where I was at least partially buzzed. Mm. Yeah, I'll have so to, good. A couple of those six a.m. Out, out on my out on my front porch, and it just... knocked me back to uh, original podcasts where oh, by the time we got done with it, I have no idea what we were talking about. Did you go home and sleep? Oh, you I used to feel so terrible the next morning. Oh yeah, bad because bad. it's like because you, not... you're not drinking a lot. Right. It's just like they talk about it on other podcasts where it's just like you you have one or two beers and you feel sick because you didn't keep going. Right. Yep. And I don't know if that's just because I'm, my body's used to keeping going, but no, I'd have a couple of those heavy pseudo sues, those those one with the dinosaurs yep, on yep. it, the sixteen ounce. I'd have two of those and be perfect. Then I'd be like, "What's wrong with three and four? And well, then still good, but not for comfortably going home. So, what's the name of the ballpark here? Uh, Riverfront Stadium. I just got some meat on the microphone. Um, perfect. So, Riverfront Stadium in Wichita has pseudo sue clown Ooh. shoes. And just a ton of other amazing beers on tap. I'm gonna have to take a hundred bucks just to get beer on Saturday. Uh, Ten bucks for the a small thing of clown shoes. But it's way but, more percent yeah, than everything else. Yeah, it's like three else. beers. And I don't like. I get why. I don't want it to be ten, you know, dime beer night there at the Wind Search game, and then get right. caught in a giant. We were there assault on storm, half but, uh, mm, half beer night. Like no, Kroners really. Oh, okay. half, is that Thursday or Tuesday or something? But the week? I don't drink those beers. Yeah. So we're getting some protein extraction, but definitely not as we're good. Already, we're already three and a half plus. Cut, yeah. yeah. It's not. It's breaking more into balls when I stretch it. So if you want to make meatballs, great. Self-forming meatballs? Oh, man. 
I mean, there's, you can feel it when it changes, and it's starting to change right now. Yeah. Like, it's actually picking up the bowl as I move yeah. it around. I wonder if they have... That would be a great masseuse. Do they have oh, certain bowls that have, like, cork bottoms? I feel like I've seen those. Uh, they're plastic. We have Are them they? at home. My okay. wife bakes them. I wonder if that would help with our potential touching of this. It's actually not a bad idea. Oh, uh. maybe. We, uh, we made a cookie cake for the neighbor... Their daughter just graduated high school. Oh, nice. So what's your process making a cookie cake? Oh, she does it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, that's right. She's really good at baking. I wanted the cookie cake really bad, and yeah. I was kind of being a little bit of a dingus about it. Yeah. So she made me my own cookie cake oh, last yeah. night. It's great. Nice. It's kind of the perfect time of year for that, because it's my older brother's birthday last weekend, So that, but my birthday's in July. So it's like I'm used to getting something in May. <laughs> so, right. so, so, so yeah, so he got a cookie cake too, and he doesn't eat sugar anymore. So guess who got a lot of that there left you over? Go. So uh, yeah, it's a win-win. All right, I'm gonna call that. It's not the best protein extraction ever. Five minutes. Okay. About so, five oh two. Uh, a couple minutes difference. There, well, if you're really focused. Percentage yeah. Wise, yeah. If you're really focused right. on it, almost fifty percent. Absolutely makes a difference. So. The moral of that story is make absolutely sure that you're putting your meat in the freezer before you're grinding it because not only is it going to make the grind faster, it will make your stuffing easier, or I'm sorry, your mixing easier, your stuffing better. When those fats are really nice and cold, it's going to not try to stick to the sides. It's going to get pushed down easier, and you'll get better protein, uh, sorry, better particle definition your fats will stay nice and... Yeah, I bet you people just forget to... Or just don't even know about doing it the right when they first go for it, so... Is this like a nightmare for you? No, I'm just... It's one of those, like, I had stuff prepared, and then you told me to start to talk, and I was like, what the hell am I going to talk about? <laughs> I'm usually... A, uh, I usually monitor the comments a lot. All right. We're going to... Oh, Len Fletcher can't have beer either. I'm with you. Yeah, but yours is for, like, this... Well, like, I take medicine for my lingering back problem. It's just like a... But it's, yeah, it's just it, like a Motrin, right? Well, no, it's, it's, you can't, well, it, the doctor... <laughs> first of all, doctors are great, but they suck, because they act like they're not humans. Because you go to right, them, and yeah, they go, like... like oh, no, you should never and, do that. Yeah, they go, well, how many, how many beers are you drinking? I go, ah, normal. Like, I'll have, like, like, if it's, like, a Friday or Saturday, I go, I have, like, five or six, or, like, at a bar. It's a bar setting. Yeah. That could be a pitcher if I'm not paying attention because my friends weren't drinking as quick as I was, right? Sure. And she goes, oh, my God. She looked at me like as if I had like, <laughs> like told her I was a toxic Avenger. I go, whoa. You're whoa. an alcoholic. Yeah, she goes, uh, if you're going to drink, just do like one a night. And I go, you'd rather me drink one beer every night for like the rest of my life instead of like maybe five or six on a weekend because they just want they don't they can't promote uh binge drinking, binge drinking yeah, of yeah. course but i'm just like i think if we have some common sense here we can promote or we can see the difference between sure binge drinking and then you know getting obliterated which yeah. is an awesome time so <laughs> <laughs> all right let's check out comments uh ha nashville hot seasoning is available now i hope uh, and also, for anyone who's trying to order things on, on uh, waltonsinc.com right now, we might be having still a small problem uh, with grouped products. So something like the Willie. No, it's not up there. The Nashville Hot will be up there by the end of the day. Sorry about that. Um, it'll be in the Excalibur Shakers category. It won't have a picture. Uh, initially, it'll just have that W. Um, but I absolutely will get that set up. After this, I have to... Clean up out front because I brought a huge thing of oil out there and fried. Got to do that. John and I have to send out winnings. Is this usually your live stream? You just talk about your like upcoming what I, events? Sure. sure. We talk about my <laughs> relationships with my parents. Yeah, it's a lot of oh, therapy that's cool. for me. Basically. Yeah, it's usually just. But no, I will have that Nashville or Na <laughs> Nashville hot season. But what I was going to say the the about the. Uh, the temperature of meat, I get. It's one of those like it's an easy enough tip, but like I get like first timers, they're just they're gonna have so much other things that they're worried about that's gonna go wrong. They're gonna forget just to put their meat in the fridge and/or yeah. freezer in between those like moments. They're just gonna take longer just because they haven't you know perfected their own method of doing it. I guess. But keep talking. I'm just tossing this in there. <clears throat> Let's see the inside of our fridge like it's an episode of Cribs. 
No, they don't want to see the end. We don't want them to see the end. Someone had a good idea uh, to show. It was like it was like a cribs type show where you show people's barbecue setups. Show barbecue setups? Yeah. So you see their backyard, but I'm just like, now if they happen to have a sweet setup of stuff that we sell, that could be killer. Yeah, that could definitely work. But yeah, if we happen to know a guy or two, they want to sh- showcase his awesome setup. There's always. Awesome room for that. Yeah, better not be making those pies fall out. Sorry, guys. The meat was making me nervous, even though it's nowhere near to being warm enough or long enough. So what is that, the the danger zone? Big question? <sighs> yeah, and getting bigger. Oddly, there's, uh, there's some changing thoughts on it. Somebody on Meatistics sent me a really interesting article that was really, obviously, really well-researched. So I... St- Took like half hour to read it, make sure I understood it, and started doing some uh, USDA style research. Like I was looking for USDA brand or not branded, but like guidelines. Mm-hmm. And they haven't caught up to it yet, but that's not necessarily surprising. A lot of times the USDA will be a little bit behind the curve on stuff yeah. like that, like um, the food pyramid. <laughs> you no, know, that's totally yes, <laughs> no, exactly. Apparently, it's upside down. It is upside guys. down. I mean, um, hey, you're only supposed heck? to have this many fats, but eat yeah. all the bread you want. Yeah, and Pluto was a planet for about 20 or 30 years, 40, 50, back? 60 years. I don't know. Pluto I don't even want to get dive. They can. You don't like Pluto? I, w- I was okay. I don't. They need to tell me how to feel about Pluto because once they immediately, like everyone else, they said, oh, it's, it's a moon of Planet X. And I go, okay, cool. So it's Pluto's not a planet, and then Planet X, and they remove that, and then now it's just like. There's Wait, such they said a gray that it was area. a moon of Planet X? I thought I, pl- there is no Planet X. I, exactly. See, there's so much misinformation. This goes to, we used to have a girl who worked here who used to work for NASA. Mm, yep. And, like, they lie to you literally all the time. <laughs> with, like, the, the images they show yeah. where it's, like, the clouds are yellow and there's orange. Well, they dictate That's not that. what it actually looks no, like. That's them going, yeah, look well, cool here. To make it clear or, that this is different, Well, let's maybe it's like, it. maybe they could tell us what the gases are we're looking at, and then to their best knowledge, well, this gas behaves like this under this circumstance. So to, well, then I to their best key. working knowledge, maybe that's what it looks yeah. like. But that's just like playing the horse head nebula? But that's just playing devil's advocate. Yeah. The horse head nebula is not like, yeah. nothing. I've been there. It's not that impressive. It's almost, if there's no sound, is there color? Is any, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get on board that train. Fair. Hey. That's a good one. <laughs> um, all right. Ryan Jones earlier chatted in. If you wanted to replace your water with ice to keep things nice and cold, which is what a lot of... Uh, processors do, especially when they're vacuum tumbling something for long, Mm. long times. Um, This is another reason why it's better to go by weight than by volume. Um, If you're doing it by weight, it's the same. If you're doing it by volume, um, I, I, sorry, I don't know what ice expands to, Mm. like what that percentage is, but just continue to do it by weight and you'll be fine. Ice, but that I mean, that's what a lot of commercial processors do. The the downside and why it's difficult to do it for retail is that mixer, the smaller one, your hands aren't going to do a great job with ice. It's not going to break up the ice. So you're going to, when you go to the stuffing phase, you're going to have some ice chunks in there. And that's not ideal. You can easily clog a stuffing tube with an ice chunk. So it is best just to use ice cold Sorry, ice cold water. I got a I got a question. I was talking about ice. But like a uh, ice bath is it can you leave meat in there too long? Does meat start to absorb any of that at all or once it's cooked it doesn't take on the properties of say. So it won't really waterlog it. You mm-hmm. can if you depending on how long you leave it in there, you can create some casing issues. Okay. Um but in general like it's not going to leach out the taste of the meat or anything it'll like ju- that. It'll just be kind of slimy, right? Like Comparably so. Compar- not, not slimy necessarily. The casing just could start to get a little bit loose. Mm, like if it yeah. just absorbs way too much water. Okay. So like on snack sticks, five minute ice bath is fine. Summer sausage, probably 10 to 20, mm-hmm. depending on how thick it is. Um, there's just no reason to leave it in yeah. longer than that. We should do an ice bath with no bath, just ice, go layer of ice and then throw... Snacks this in there, then layer of ice over it. So that's not as good. Well, that do, oh, because uh, yeah. it can't do as much. Uh huh. Because the the water in there perfectly encapsulates mm. the uh, the sausage. Yeah. And 
ice works is just better than ice just rigid itself. and just yep. can't do as yep. much it surface won't area. It form to it as yeah. well. So makes yep. sense. Yep. Makes sense. Are you really out of stock? Willie's twenty five pound and Holly regular, or is it a web issue? Uh, no, that's a web issue. What's happening right now, guys, is seeing all of our configurable products, which are things like Willie's, where we have multiple sizes and one page. Uh, it's seeing all of those for whatever reason as just mm. the con the grouped product. Um, we discovered this earlier today. We escalated it to the company that does stuff like that for us. They are working on it. So could not get coupon code to work. Live six one two one. Okay. It works. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. You guys heard him. Next question. No, no, because I've been uh, dealing with uh, Tom Nowak. Jim no so sorry, I can't remember his person's name. But uh, so that live six one two one. Add it to your cart, create an order, put in your um, shipping address, then or your billing address, then your shipping address, and then select shipping. It'll be the standard shipping, then add your coupon code. The standard shipping, which was like $19.99 or whatever it was, will change to zero, and at the bottom underneath the order, you'll see 10% off the total order and you'll see the shipping. So if it was like $19.99, it'll say negative $19.99 under there. Um, I've tried it with a bunch of different products. I've tried it logged in, logged out, uh, Edge, Chrome. So is it certain products, or is it it's just a certain step along the way? If there's an easy way to remedy it, do we have, like if you were to tell. Choose the shipping method. Cho that's choose the shipping method. I think so that's so what's people are trying it. to hit next with their code without clicking shipping method. I, I think. Because they see a money value next. Because they're it. not seeing free shipping. Yeah. I, th I think. I wonder I if we can put, is it, well, I'm gonna, for us. Somebody's calling me later today, so I'll Well, on the web, guys, I'm there. wondering if you could even just put an asterisk next to it that says four coupon codes, select shipping for, you know, actually on there, so then they're prompted to. Yeah. I don't know. Easier said than done. Not not really my expertise. Yeah. So. Just a giant flashing red light. Select shipping method. Just like you said, no discount. Okay. I don't know what could possibly. John. I have no idea what it could be. Like add it to when card. we were testing a bunch yeah. of them, it kept saying uh, coupon code not valid or something like that and then we finally found that it what it was wanting us to do is choose the shipping so every time we have used it since then and i've tried it with all seasonings i've tried it with all equipment i've tried it with all supplies like just those things in my uh cart and it, it's working. well let me so ask you this if you click shipping is your coupon code entry still on the same page yeah it's all single page all single page yeah, so okay. it's like left to right Okay. Uh, billing address, shipping address, and but, then on the right is okay. like order totals, and at the bottom, you click this thing that says "I have a coupon." So if you kind of theoretically stay beginning, middle, to end there, it should work then, right? Uh, John uh, Geringer, reach out to me through uh, Meatistics. Chat at me there. I uh, had a recommendation. I don't know if this is perfect on the air, but it's nothing crazy. Because um, we often that say, hot. if you often, uh, if guys need something, we'll be like, uh, hey, email us at podcast at waltonsinc.com. Right. We should set up a live stream email. Hey, email us at live, live at waltonsinc.com. Yeah, that's, that's a very so good So that way it's a little bit that's more focused. Idea. Yep. So we'll maybe get that set up by next week. And you just shout that out every time because there's a lot of, I feel like, I, I don't want to say ideas, but just stuff that tethers to this a lot more specifically that we need more quicker attention to, I guess. I don't know. All right, John, if it was saying it was just expedited shipping, that was the only thing available, I may have an idea with what was happening. Um, but A, I want to test it before I say it. So yeah, please on Meatistics, go to mine, uh, Jonathan, and start a chat with me. <clears throat> and if you have your order number, uh, let me have that too, please. Who's behind the camera? Uh, Jeremy, we have a, a new person. Um, he is John. He is a, a utility player. He's going to be doing a little bit of everything for us. Uh, and he does have some ability with cameras, some, some of the software. Yeah. So we're going to take we'll, advantage of that. We'll definitely get him, get him on screen soon. I wanted to get him comfortable running stuff before 
the the accidental potential of showing yourself <laughs> behind there <laughs> camera. You know what I mean? Because, but yeah, probably next week you guys will get to meet him and stuff. So, uh, if the moon was made of ribs, would you eat it? I mean, the whole thing. If we can get probably there, probably not. Or are they sauced? Not the entire thing. Um, what? So, do competition ribs get sauced? They do, right? Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, because it's not like, because we brought in uh, James Richard, local uh, mm-hmm. SCA guy, and uh, yeah, I mean steak, of course, it's so rock solid, steady, like the same, and like your seasonings, you try to stand out and stuff like that. But there's not, you wouldn't say like almost to the naked eye when you see these things come off the grill, they don't look seasoned, so to speak. You know what I mean? There's not giant grain particles of anything, no weird colors. It's like exactly like when you type in steak in Google Images and hit images, it looks like that. Right. So I'm just like, I wonder if there's some rib competitions that go no sauce. There just probably to see. is like... I wonder if there's like, an, uh, like a categories or something when they're there. Anyways. I'm trying to think of like, because they present it to the judges usually like on a bed of lettuce or something yeah. like that. And I'm trying to think every... I believe everything I've seen looks at least like it's sauced. Yeah. Looks like it. But I mean, I never know. There's so many ten pictures. So many offshoots. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're experts at it. Thousands of them. The anecdotal evidence we've all looked up. But Uh, yeah, Joel Fleetwood says finished twentieth in the KCBS Team of the Year ribs last year, and currently twenty second for this year. Oh, heck yeah! Always sauce. There you go. I'm looking to talk to a guy who does ribs, so. For an interview for and that? stuff like yeah, oh, potential okay. like profile cool. series and stuff. Yeah, we'll like have that. A, a cool coupon or a cool coupon code, a cool video coming out um, with that guy. He came in. Patrick shot a bunch of stuff. Has edited together a pretty good video. So we will make sure that we're uh, letting you guys see that. Where are we going to release that? I don't we're know. Gonna we're going to use gonna it as a promo it. for SCA, yeah. but it also live on YouTube. Yeah, it'll definitely just be on YouTube, and then that's probably one of those that we can kind of name what we want to try to get the most viewership out of, if that makes sense. Like, we don't have to call it Waltons or Meat Gistics yeah, or anything. It can, right, be, it can have to, its, yeah, own it's, fun, its own thing. Yeah. Oh. Um, Real quick. Yes. Claude Tremblay is here. Oh, jeez. That's geez. important. Get out of here. There's two of us. <laughs> but, yeah, if someone's real good at, uh, like, have a local, uh, if you're a local barbecue guy or have a spot or consider yourself, I don't want to say expert, but, like, you know, you go to competitions and stuff. Maybe it's for ribs or for brisket or for anything and everything like that. You want to get your name out there and barbecue and stuff. Email me personally, right? Should I give my email, my personal email at work? Don't do that. Then email podcast at waltonsinc.com. Yeah, I used to give out my email address, and that was the biggest mistake. Yeah. I just started getting all these random emails. It's like almost like somebody listens to things like this or transcribes them and just steals email addresses. Oh, wow. Can I see that, uh, the Nashville? Uh, well, Lynn? you know, it is, uh, because, like, I'll see on YouTube, uh, like, I'll watch some of our, our videos when I'm at home and or on the phone, and it auto-populates subtitles, so I wonder if it just steals it from there. Could be. Um, Lynn was asking if this is overly salty. I, w- I definitely wouldn't say so. Not overly. Um, it's appropriate. You don't get, you don't go, oh, this is salty. salty. Yeah, yeah. no. Austin wouldn't like this because it's not salty. Because it's not salty enough. Yeah, he's got yeah. spices is the first, so that's all of those divided or all of those together make the biggest ingredient. Um, part of that is paprika and amato, so salt is the second ingredient. So it's not. I mean, it's not an overly salty. The only one seasoning that I'm real careful with is the butter garlic rub. I absolutely love that seasoning, but yeah. if you put too much on it, it will over. So I've I've. I've made chicken breast that's too salty before because of that. When yeah. I first got it, I just started dumping it all over everything. I've over salted plenty of great meals, and I was like, oh, it's not done and it's ruined. Yes. Just well, because I'm very much of the mindset of if some is good, more is better. Mm. And that's not always the case yeah. with food. Like it's bringing out the flavor, it's bringing out the, and it's past and the it's point of no return. That. Yeah, nope. it's just ruined. Nope. It's mush. It's like every good th- everything I accidentally nailed like seventh grade art class you're just like oh man i didn't know i could do that let me do th-. and it's ruined you just you do you overwork it right. you, think yeah, yeah, yeah. you think you know better for the p you don't it's just less is more less jeremy is more. ridley's got a good one he says maybe bring some new employees into the kitchen i read that how to and let them ask questions you wouldn't think of so interestingly enough that is something i do with our new customer service employees um i like to it, it took a while this time, but uh, I, I did get all the new guys in here for a day of let them make whatever they had the I'd most probably questions probably learn a lot, of. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's the hope. Um, because I know when I started working in customer service, 
they tell you, they teach you, mm -hmm. you know, you read stuff, but it's when you actually do it, things click way better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, doing some sort of video on it might be possible. That, that might actually not be a <laughs> bad thing. Let's do an onboarding one like shenanigans or something. Like what? And we're in waiting or whatever. and they're <laughs> Shenan They do an onboarding? Well, like the new guy sits down and watches the new video everyone has to watch when uh -huh. they first get there. And it's, and it's you going, oh, hi there. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> oh, Walton's. Okay, I, I didn't see you. So we do that too. Yeah, you just show them the video. No, no. <laughs> but maybe that's not a bad thing to do with John. That would yeah, get him introduced yeah. to everybody. Plus, I've already run him through things, so it would be a good test. Oh, yeah. Okay, what yeah, do yeah. you remember? Just say the word protein extraction and I could have and you're fine. our product. Oh, no. Our product spotlight, which yeah. is the electric bug zapper. Are you going to hit yourself with it to yes. show the intensity? Wait, make sure what camera or what looks good. I want to make sure we get this on. So these screen. are things that we brought to my uh, bachelor Can't party John before I got married. And we all had dead skin on our elbows because we wouldn't <laughs> stop doing this to each other. My one friend's bald. and We kept doing it to his head. This is what happened to Austin's hair. Wait, make sure it's above the laptop so this camera can see you. John, are you ready? Is this the camera on? There'll be a real spark. Is it not turning on? Oh, you're on. Why is it not? My face grimacing like it's going to come out and zap me. Batteries are in. No, it's on because I saw the red light on the other side too. Well, you're supposed to get in between. These protect. Oh, so you can't do that with this. Well, I saw you earlier. earlier. I think you just... Maybe your ring? I don't, I don't want to touch my ring to it. Oh, that's overkill. We need a bug in here. Oh! <laughs> the second I look away! <laughs> so it is that. It's there, This outside thing is a protector, so you okay. can't use it how we used okay. it at my bachelor party. You guys ruined But it. I am so taking this thing home because I have to leave my garage door open because I have two crazy dogs that will literally chew oh, holes wanna, in my door. I want to know if we can see the reaction on the delayed version on YouTube. Okay. Yourself. <laughs> they, these dogs will chew holes in my door if I don't leave the garage door open for them to get out in the garage. So uh, I have flies in my house like crazy now. We should just do a podcast from your Very garage crazy. so your dogs don't freak out. And I'm like, it's a protector. You're like, nope, oh, well, no. we keep going here for a while. No, it should be any. Like as soon as you give up, oh, uh, yeah, yep. it's gonna work. I put it down. Nope, doesn't not working. Okay. Oh, man. It's coming. I th oh, there it was. Oh, yeah, you could see it. That was so cool. Uh, so, John Belvedere says you can always add salt and seasoning, but you can't take it out. That is true, except for uh, if you do too salty of uh, either a soup. Or a uh, at least a red sauce. I know. I don't know about uh, like a Amer or uh, um, carbonara. Uh, you could put potatoes mm -hmm. in with it. The potatoes will soak up some of the salt. I say you can add sugar or something. No, it's just is that, yeah, is that, is that yeah, bogus? to counteract it a little bit. Uh, but you're still going to get that like slightly. I'm usually food. not the guy in charge of seasoning the food for people. So you know. Claude, this will be something we have on the website. This is a brand new product. Oh yeah. Um, this will be up by the end of next week for sure, as well, oh, what like I'm going to demand Ooh. all of my steaks be served on now. Oh, dude, that's what we're... Fajita sizzling hot platter. So you get a nice little piece of wood, a cast iron fajita skillet, and a cover, which if I'm being honest, that worries me that that's really going to protect my hand. Right? Does yeah. that feel thick enough to... Well, I wonder if this is iron. like because uh because big restaurants they just have those broilers where they just kind of the the handle's not even really all the way in so to speak right so it's just like you carry so, it by so this. this would be yeah exactly or they wouldn't mess with that so this would just be to, to readjust I think so when they bring it, it to the this, table you put it down yeah. and then you readjust with that yeah exactly That's this is like for the with. customer yeah. to but it's a really nice little cast iron skillet it's That's got cool. the ridges in there. We should do our fajita. Perfect for. We should do some fajita brat or something in there and display it in there. Like so that. you're saying do fajita brat, but do it like a fajita. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying do fajita. Bro well, that actually sounds cool too. I was just saying as a serving tray for when they're done, like have finished brats on this to create the in homage to real fajitas. We have so many interesting ideas that I we got one for you. When we said danger zone earlier. Okay. Can we need our own. We need our own podcast called the Danger Zone because <laughs> it's you know with the meat. Two things. Yeah, exactly. Two things in one. I don't know that I have time for another. Oh, dude! Podcast. When this when this channel blows up, like Barstool Sports, we're gonna have multiple then sister shows and stuff living like off that. of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we gotta start coming up with that right now. 
Um, so yeah, these will be also on uh, the website within the next couple of with by the end of next week for sure. Hopefully, one of those uh, Hershey S'mores boxes. Yep. Too. So we've also That'd got cool. the Hershey S'mores box. Uh, we've got these cool tongs, which sounds like a weird thing to be excited about, but it is a spatula on one side and tongs on the other. We've got super long tongs. We've got a couple of different brushes. Uh, so a bunch of barbecue stuff right in time for barbecue seasoning. It's not what we focus on, but it's I mean, if there. you're coming to yeah. us for your meat processing stuff, we might as well have as much of it as we can for you. Um, Salt-free rubs would be super expensive. They're pretty expensive, but you can get them. Um, das salt-free. Das salt-free. Now that's, I don't know that I'd even call that mm. a rub necessarily. Topical? Or that just yeah, a it's finisher? Just more, yep. Yeah. Um, the rosemary, basil, and thyme. And I think that actually does have a little bit of salt in it, but the sweet basil oregano, I believe, has no salt in it, and that is an excellent seasoning. Um, then Cosmos has their entire clean line. I can't remember if they call it clean line. That's more based around no sugar, but it also does have, um, I think, a lower salt. Where's sweet basil oregano? There it is. I'll post a, a link to this in the chat. This is the part of my brain where I'm just like, what What could go wrong video and audi uh, audible-wise right now? <laughs> it just end? Yeah. It did, yeah. Uh, I guess that's worst case scenario. It just shuts off. All right. J. Michael Kaminsky. Okay. Got two items in the cart listed in stock to go out. Fill out all info. Drop product code. It's uh, live 6121 and there's no space. So it's just live 6121. And Let us know if the caps works. matter on that? It's no longer. They used to. It's no longer case sensitive. Okay. Cool. But don't put any caps in because... I didn't when I created it. In capsin, in capsaicin. Capsaicin. In capsaicin. Uh, Patrick does a very good job on the air. Perhaps he could join Austin and John. What oh, would we call go. that threesome? Uh, the musketeer. Three little pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, two or two guy? I don't know. There's something there. Yeah. Uh, Apache stainless. And Beaver Dam specializes in stainless pressure vessels, but maybe they can help with stuffer situation. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, I have a meeting with a company, I think on the 9th. Um, I'm meeting with them about something else, but I'm definitely going to talk to them about uh, the, the steel, stainless steel cylinders as well. I'm looking for a hamburger press that attaches to your grinder to make regular size hamburger patties and smaller attachments for smaller burgers. Uh, BJ, we have the regular size one. There is no attachment at all that we can find that will work for the slider size. Uh, hold on. Let me get the, uh, the quick patty maker. The quick patty maker. That's a good one. I remember that one. We designed, not we, I remember when Sarah worked, she designed the box oh, for that. Kind of fighting about quick versus whatever you wanted. Rapid or yeah. quick or something. It used to be called the Rapid Patty Maker, and I always hated that. So when we had this made for ourselves, I insisted on quick. So this attaches to your grinder, to your stuffer. Push the meat in. It goes through this channel here, fills up this chamber. You push it over. The meat slides or falls down, and you have a perfectly formed patty. Repeat. Push it back this way. It falls down. I've tried everything. I've tried a lot of things. Uh, to find some sort of insert that will fit in here that will make this a slider size. So I've tried uh, PVC around here. I've tried um, the little plastic uh, things that cook the perfect egg in the round thing. Um, and it just no matter what I do, it makes it way too difficult to switch this back and forth. And because of the way this is shaped, they fall out the bottom. This is wider at the bottom than it is the top, so there's no good way to like there's, hold it in there. There's some engineering behind that. Yeah, right but it makes sense why they would do it that way. Um, but to the best of my knowledge, nobody makes an attachment or one of these that works on sliders. I remember, remember when you smoked all those burgers that one time? Mm -hmm. We we did hundreds yeah. out of that uh, thing uh, relatively yeah. well, quick. A lot. Yeah, a lot. I mean, less than a thousand, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I love this thing. Did a great it's a job. great, easy way. Like you said, and it's not uh, like, sure, quickness, but uniformity. Yep. So it's going to make your cook be that much less hassle. For sure. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so. that makes all the difference in the world when you can go and make sure, like, you know all your burgers are the same thickness. 
Yeah. Don't have to worry about that one's going to be done no, before yeah, this Yeah, there's one. no pressing down. Yep. All this one's All that. you got to worry nah, about is if there's cold even, spots even on Even heat, yep. That's nope. what you got to focus on. Nope. Like, I've done this a million times myself, yeah. Uh, finished brought with grilled peppers and onions on the skillet for display. No. Jeremy Ridley's got some good ideas. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. J. Michael Kaminsky, I want to see if his worked. No. Use live section. Still not working for me. Just try again, dropping one item in the code. Well, what, is, what, is, the, so the, what is, is the code even supposed to be? So code live, you're putting a space between live 6121, so I don't know if you're doing that there or if that's just what you're typing yeah. in, but there should be no space between live and 6121. Um, it's supposed to give you 10% off and free shipping on orders of $25 or more. Let's hope he's over 25 bucks. Yeah, uh, that, that could be the issue, too. The other issue that we've seen some people run into is make sure that you're choosing your shipping option because it does, it, it does actually look to make sure that you have the standard home because that's what it's going to give free mm. and make sure that you have that standard home. I'm rooting for you. North Dakota, Mike, what are you doing down in Clearwater, Florida? Remember when we were just like North Dakota at all? Notre Dame, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, who are all man? Is it Notre Dame? Oh, uh, you have to pin your adapter from the sides, countersink the hole, and thread the adapter and add a screw. Yeah, uh, Craig Rice is saying 3D print something. We we talked to somebody on Meatistics a long time ago. I think I even sent them one of these. Um, to have them try 3D printing things, but nothing ever came of it. Yeah. COVID happened, and we just went... Oh, like, man. Nuclear. Nuclear. Yeah, well, I'm no matter what, I'm sticking around until J. Michael Kaminsky. Oh, yeah. Let's okay. figure that out. No space. I did it right. It's $36. I also did ship $8.99 and $14.99. Still no good. It is 36 bucks. I also did shit, yeah. Well, hell, what's 10% of 30? There's no... You got a fiver on you? We'll just send it to him. <laughs> no, <laughs> send, no, no, Just no. send him five bucks. It's the free shipping that's really the... Um, I, I'm just running through this in my head. We put the thing that makes it trigger is mm -hmm. over $25, and we have it triggering on any item where the SKU is not empty. So if it sees a SKU number in there, it's going to trigger. Triggered. So it's saying, John, does it say, can, can you give me the exact verbiage it says? Is it coupon does not apply or coupon is not valid? We need to know. Well, no, I, I really do. I've got somebody calling me at 5 o'clock today that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to walk through it with him. I, I mean... Obviously, we like doing these. Ooh, but good question. He says he's trying to use it on a sale item. I mean, it shouldn't work on a sale item. Well, then that might be what it is. Hey, can you just tell us the item if you? I mean, I don't, I don't want to get into your business. Here's and the stuff, deal. But. It shouldn't work on a sale item, but I don't think we have it designed not to work on a sale item. Like on the oh, old it website, just over, right? Yeah. On the old website, it wouldn't work on a sale item, but I don't. think think we have it built out yet to stop sale items cool. see you later lynn i don't think um i mean john okay. says coupon it, is not valid yeah but yeah even he's saying it um is saying what well he said it doesn't work but then someone else said it worked not up there valid, not valid okay coupon is not valid jeremy ridley just did it worked for him uh j michael kaminsky i'm pretty sure i have your email address um john your john's brew house do me a favor on that screen, hit the Windows button, Control, and the letter S. That's going to let you draw a box on your screen, and it takes a screenshot of what you draw the box for. You just, yeah. like with your cursor, just get me that page and uh, either chat with me uh, through Meatistics or email me if you have my email address. Because... Um, I, I can't. Uh, he says he has a Mac. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> I don't know how to do a Mac. <laughs> I used to, I love that new, like, we're so onto that snipping tool or whatever. I used to just press the. Oh, yeah, it's amazing. I used to just press the print screen button, but then I'd have to go to paint. Yep. And then paste. And then and you then get both crop. screens. Yeah. Yeah. So for anyone who didn't hear that, it is Windows, Shift, and S. And it is absolutely. You just 
Amazing. Draw it, and then from there, save it as whatever you want. Yeah. To it's, wherever you want. You don't have to paste it anywhere. It's in your clipboard. You can control V it to post it somewhere. There's a lot of workflow things like that that just, they're coming out now. Yeah. Where it's like, it, we've just needed the last 20 years as a society to figure out, oh, that would make things, make things better. 10 minutes quicker. Oh, so. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the office workflow is great. Why can't I see... Nope. TJ, he says, I'm the one calling you after five, John. Okay, cool. I've disabled all of my ad blockers and still no luck with the coupon code. Okay. I wonder if their information is getting cached up. Now, I don't know anything about IT or anything like that, but... No, we are. We were having some issues with caching on, like, the server side. Because, um, like, still, I'll go to slash whatever, and it displays my window in a weird manner. Remember, the video was making it look like I was from cell phone view. Yeah. And there's no rhyme or reason. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't work on mine. Works on yours. I wonder if it's like... Is yours still They're not just working? having... I haven't checked it, but yeah. Mm. I wonder if they're just having a weird issue that we can't explain. Well, I mean, there's definitely a weird issue, hence why it's saying we're out of willies and holly. You guys ever see the movie The Happening? Not. It just... They think, can't explain it. You think it's science, computers man. computers become sentient? Well, it it's just terminator. happens. Da -da, da -da, Did you da -da. see the? Uh, there's a news story the other day that a drone oh, I'm took this. over and killed somebody. Like an attack drone. Oh, just made they're a just placing on blame onto the. Oh, exactly. come on! Exactly. It's a guy like, sweat. No, it's a guy's the, sweaty finger. The drone did it by itself. Uh, yeah, ridiculous. All right. All right, J. Yeah. Michael Kaminsky and uh, John, your John's Brewhouse. J. Michael, I have your address email address so i'll reach out to you uh tim tom sorry whatever is either tim or tom um you're calling me at five tim. and john you're gonna chat at me through meet just Sticks. i will get all three of you guys handled before the end of the day we should get horribly uh not funny like sound drops like radio shows do nope. and we could just nope. i could just play those with stream keys don't worry guys he won't be back after that suggestion <laughs> that is the last time you're gonna well see it's Patrick. funny is you know well what goes against what you're saying because the sooner i'm back there the quicker that happens <laughs> so, so okay if that's what do you it want no matter what i say well uh, well okay i wouldn't do it with like well, I wonder if there's some inside jokes that you could just play, like so, like text or something, comments or something, and then I play like the sound of Spurs walking in the room or something. You know, there could be like some weird. That's the only one I like. You like okay? That's, I like that. We one. have to tailor make Cause some it, of yeah, these. Yeah, because it no, makes don't sense. Do, no, exactly. Don't like do when he it makes for, his first comment. Don't do like a boing like for something. Yeah, that's that, what I was yeah, thinking you were meaning. You no, know, but I mean, at first, yeah. But now I'm talking about it, it's like there could be something to it. But there could be something. To it. Yeah, because OBS, the new sof software we use, is awesome as far as like just adding elements as right. far as like other videos we have queued up and want to play immediately or these title overlays or like like I said sound effects like if someone subscribes on YouTube to us we can be notified immediately and it can make a sound and a graphic for everyone else now is that too twitchy is that yeah I think so also plus we don't we don't it's not that we don't care about YouTube because yeah. we definitely do it's the way we have everyone chatting for now it um, almost helps viewers scratch that itch of commenting though as well because of big giant of, of commenting like when people comment sometimes it's you know the endorphins and they go off and stuff like okay. that so it's like it scratches that itch without commenting it's hmm. like oh i added there's my name and someone says oh hey thanks for the sub or whatever so it does that feel good emotion that people are into nowadays so or that we're aware of i should we're say fascinating race yeah oh yeah human race oh yeah we're just a bunch of weird people mm -hmm. big time and still trying to figure out about it <laughs> every day and maybe not getting any better at it yeah oh. Anyway, yeah, that's All a right. whole that's a whole conversation. Humans, uh, the we'll podcast. We'll leave it there, but go ahead, make sure uh, John, Jake, uh, Jake, John, Jake, Schmidt, um, have all three of you guys handled. For anyone else who's having a problem, um, can you monitor podcast tomorrow when you come in? See if there's any. Oh yeah, for it. sure. For anyone else that's having an issue that aren't those three guys, please email us at podcast at waltonsinc dot com. Um, Obviously, what I was trying to say earlier is obviously we love doing these. I, I enjoy these. Um, but this ability to get live feedback on issues is one of the reasons huge, we yeah. want to keep doing these and keep in touch with you guys. It's really easy but valuable and fun way for us to keep in, in touch with our customers.